on top of a ladder, but as long as Andrew doesn't fall No, ahead. I don't trust you on the ladder anymore. <laughs> Adrian is a wonderful, I always gonna say kit, because he's always gonna be my kit. She's the definition of resilience. And I think a lot of my personality, a lot of my traits, and a lot of my strength come from watching her growing up. How are you doing? Good. 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 Yeah. I've faced a lot of adversity in my life, I feel like. And so has she. And when I was through the thick of it all, I just thought of her. I was like maybe around 12. I wasn't myself, very in my shell. And so she knew something was wrong. So I go in there and I say, Why are you crying? I just told her, I said, Mom, I'm gay. And I said, it doesn't mean that I'm going to love you less than what I love you now. You will always be my kid. You have me. I love you to death. You're my son. Nobody can tell me different. And I always tell you, you know, no matter what, blood is thicker than water, and you look for each other. And I started getting really sick, and it was around winter time. I thought maybe I'm just, you know, I have a really bad cold. I have a bad flu. It's, it's the cold. It's messing with me. The nurse said, uh, we're going to run some tests on you. And then he said, um, have you ever been tested for HIV? My heart. We actually found out that I had received a diagnosis of AIDS. My T cell count was at about 20, and my viral load was just through the roof. I was really sick. I was in the hospital for about two weeks, and it was hell. It was the worst thing I've ever been through. But the whole time, my mom was there. As soon as I heard, the nurse said, I said, what? I couldn't say anything. I was in shock. I didn't know about AIDS. I heard about it, but I wasn't educated on it. And I remember holding him tight and saying, it was going to be OK. There's treatments. I don't know a lot about it, but we're going to Pull this together. I'm gonna be there for you no matter what. God doesn't give us what we cannot handle. And for a reason, He gave me Adrian. And says, because this person can handle it. This person is gonna be there for him. And as my way of thinking and my faith, there's always a reason for things. I love you. She refused to leave, even when I told her, you know, go get yourself some real food. You don't have to eat the hospital food. Go home. Secretly, I was grateful that she didn't. <laughs> I was scared, and I knew that I needed her, and she wouldn't leave, thankfully. Once I got him home, he had an appointment right away. I said, I'll go with you to every single appointment because I want to know. I need to get educated about his medication, how it works, how if he misses the uh, doses, can he take two or, you know. I'm very healthy today, thankfully. I am undetectable. My immune system is strong again. And aside from that, if I engage with anyone, it makes the chances of transmitting HIV to them very low. I adhere to my medications as prescribed and it's just sort of like part of my everyday routine. You know, brush my teeth, put on deodorant, take my pill. I don't know how I would have been able to do it on my own. I don't think I would have made it this far. I always tell him, remember, don't ever forget, I'm your wall. And I'm always gonna be here for you. I'm always gonna love you, no matter what. For more information about supporting loved ones living with HIV, go to family.greaterthan.org.